Hi, I'm Mandu. I'm Devin, Artistic Soul Super 7. Come back to you guys again. With a Scotch box for March. They changed the color of the box a little bit. It says, Monthly delivery of Japanese snacks. And it's a pretty blue. Green teal, something. Robin like egg, maybe. Hey, my scotch box was packed by Takako again. Yay, Takako. Okay, here is what's inside. Okay, here we go. Taylor's off camera. Watching us, he's spying on us. He's jelly because his box didn't come in the mail today. Oh boy, what are these little things? This little Kishiri crystal grape candy. Oh, minty grape. Oh, hot potato. <laughs> ah, minty grape. Minty? Minty? Not mini grape. Minty. Minty. Oh, potato. Here, here you go. Yo um, ho and muscat. Um, I'll try it. Oh, weird. Oh, weird. Look at this, guys. Okay. Oh. Oh, it's Japanese versions of those. It's like, uh, see, it's like one color on one side and another color on the other side. And like some kind of something in the middle sticking them together. Now, this is a hard candy. It's not gum, right? It feels yeah, it's hard. hard candy. Okay. It smells... It doesn't really taste that grapey. I'm gonna put it in my mouth here. That's interesting. Potato. <laughs> How you do one? <laughs> It's like a thing in the middle has the mint to it. Because when my tongue touches it, it's cold. I'll have to finish this later. But that's interesting. I think um, that's probably one of the first great things I'm going to want to finish, maybe. Um, okay. Well, how about these? I think these are more like hard candy-like things. No? Is this gum? Hokkaido milk chews. Okay, it's like a chewy Creamy thing. Candy. Okay, it has nothing in English on it at all. There's one for you. <laughs> oh, it's all white. It's like a yellowy white. It feels hard. Well, it feels... Here, see? It's like that. You want some hot potato? The oh, whole potato's kind of interested in it. Has it got milk? You said it was milk, right? Mm -hmm. Potatoes look at the lips. Oh, they're chewy. Interesting. Now, what about these tiny little things? I got a green one or a red one? Morinaga Plague Choco. 
Um, does it say what is what? Green is milk cocoa. Okay. Oh, and it's almond. Oh, okay. I was going to say, the red one looks kind of like dark chocolate. The green one looks kind of like milk chocolate. So here you, here you open the green one, and we'll give each other two of each, okay? This thing. That is a home pie. <laughs> Fujia. Fujia home pie. Home pie premium. Premium. Buttery flaky pie cookies. Okay. Oh, there's two of them in here. So here's your buttery flaky pie cookie. Like if someone took a pie crust and made it into a cookie. Yeah, basically. It has that little sugared pie crust taste to it. Like if somebody like broke a bit off of somebody's like apple pie or something and had no apple on it and it was just the pie crust. It's alright. What do you think? And the last one too, I forgot to ask you, what do you think? I like them. I don't know if it was because they're sample, that they're supposed to be sample size or like kid size, but those seem to look like small. Yeah, I think it's a little small this time. That's okay. I mean, the hard candy is like that uh, small. Mm -hmm. But uh, the other thing is, uh, they've just been so dinky. That's okay. It's snacks. Looks like we got another Umabo. Is it? What flavor is this one? Corn? Corn? Totage. Corn Totage, which oh my may or may not have anything to do with potato. I'm, I'm guessing it doesn't have shrimp in it. I'm hoping. Oh, well, I get this one. I think or Devin's had the last to two. Pottage? Mm. Oh, I can taste the. Oh my gosh! <laughs> potato! We're not talking about you, potato! Corn potage soup. Man, okay, it does taste like really like sweet corn, like a lot. Like, remember those sweet corn potato chips I got from Walmart? Mm -hmm. It tastes a lot like them. I'll, I'll, um,. I, even though I think we do have cheese to fill this with, I'm, I'm not going to do it. I'm just going to bite a few bites and give down the rest. Mmm. Mmm. This is great. That's really good. Mmm. Oh, it's super flavorful. Mmm. That's really good. Well, it's got like a little picture of a, cor of a corn cob in a pot. So maybe they mean like corn porridge, or I don't know. What do you think? It's like sweet potato, right? Mm -hmm. Or not sweet potato, but sweet corn. Sweet corn. Maybe it's like corn. What do they call that? Um, corn chowder or something. Maybe that's what they mean by that. Mm -hmm. It's so cute. It's really tasty too. Those are really good. That that rivals the uh, the what teriyaki ones I got that one time. Yeah, that's real good. Okay, got another. Looks like a savory thing. What's this one? It looks like barbecue Cheetos scorn or something. Scorn barbecue pops. Oh, scorn! We've had scorn before. A different kind of corn. Mm, 
Michael's? Mm -hmm. I do too. That's pretty good. It's, not, it's a kind of a unique flavor. I think the sweet corn on my bow may be biasing my taste buds to make it taste sweeter than it actually is. But it's like one of those sweet barbecues. Tell them what you think of the. What does it remind you of, or anything? Yeah, it has a sweet barbecue flavor to it. That's one of the things. One of the things that I've liked when we've gotten the barbecue flavored snacks is they don't taste like American barbecue flavor. And it's definitely a distinct taste from when you have something that's mesquite barbecue. Mm. Oh, I like it. Mm -hmm. I've got one more thing to try. It's our full size snack of the topo. The snack of the uh, little um, thing. It's like, they look like um, inside out uh, pocky. Yeah. Pretty much. Oh, we should get a pack. They are choco filled pretzel sticks. Mm. Oh, it's got instructions on how to open it. Okay. As you hold it like this, and you do this. Oh, it's doing it just like the instructions said! Oh, look at that. Oh, basically, kind of, yeah. Okay. Oh, here. Let me show you. Okay, so. I can see how the instructions are like this. I try to grab here, and grab here, and pull it like that. Oh! Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Like a fancy guy. Oh, slim cigar. Mm. It's got that biscuit. It tastes more like a you know the whole cookie biscuit as opposed to pretzel. Or at least how we do pretzels in America. Mm -hmm. I guess it's not covered with salt. Mm -hmm. It doesn't really have a salty flavor. I think that was a very good scratch box. What was your favorite? It's hard to pick. Everything was really, really good this time. I think it was pretty good. Um, yeah, I do. Um, I gotta go with the Amiibo though. Uh, that I just, you know, I grew up in the country. And, you know, cornfield in my backyard. So we would have sweet corn, you know, every every summer. You know, corn on the cob and all sorts of corn dishes. So I'm I'm kind of a sucker for sweet corn flavor. Um, so yeah, that that's the winner for me. The, the corn, the corn, uh, Omibo. Um, 
I mean, yeah, with the, uh, really <clears throat> with this a close second for the, uh, um, savory ones, because mm -hmm. that's really good. Yeah. I think as far as the sweet goes, this, um, little milk chew wins. Um, I really like the flavor of it. Uh, I would say second place would go to this thing. Um, yeah, again, it's, a uh, just... Like a three layer kind of a hard candy. And, um, yeah, it was just very interesting flavor to it. Even though it was grape, I enjoyed it. Yeah, I think, I think that I would have to put that as my first. Just the two different. I like grape a lot more than you do. And it being like the two different kinds of grape the white grape. And the red oh, grape, probably, yeah, and just the little hint of mint. I, I really like that, and of course, I would say second was the mint juice. So I'm basically the reverse of you on both things. Oh, okay. But yeah, that's all right. Yeah, the others that you know we didn't mention again, but they're still all right. Um, <sighs> I mean, I don't regret getting any of these. They're still, they're all pretty good. Uh, so, okay, go get your scotch box, scotchbox.com. Um, you know, I'm still just getting the regular size scotch box. Uh, who knows in the future I might splurge, but I'm, I'm still recovering financially from some stuff and still trying to, have fun at the same time and not give up everything that is fun. Um, but yeah, definitely Scotch Box, 12 bucks a month for the regular box. Get a DECA box if you can afford it, probably. Um, I haven't got one. I may, in the distant future, may switch to DECA box for my birthday or something in September. Excuse me, but uh, but yeah, for now, I'm just going to stick with the regular, regular Scotch box. Um, if you also watch um, my channel for the, or no, you don't watch my channel for the boxes for potato. That'd be Devin's channel. <laughs> I'll link to his channel below. He's a cool guy. You should watch him and like and subscribe and all that fun stuff. Now, you've seen potatoes stomping around while we were trying to snack. Uh, he's a... He's a star on Devin's channel, um, and we we decided to cut his boxes down to um, his birthday and Christmas, which is basically opposites. It's like like June and June, yeah. June is his birthday, and December would be Christmas. So it's twice a year for the kitten that box. He's got so many toys laying around here. I'll like just. Move something to Clayton and find yet another toy that he's stashed away somewhere. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but he, he's very like a kitty. Um, and don't worry, we don't feed him human food. Um, he's a good kitty. <laughs> but yeah, Scotch Box. Go for it. Um, this has been Mandu. Devin. Artistic Soul 3 for 7. With the March Scotch Box. Thank <laughs> you.